We are defrosting the prime rib. Bought from Sam's Club. Six pounds and 46 ounces. All right, guys, for Christmas this year, we're making a prime rib. I got the prime rib here. It's uh, the prime rib, it's the choice prime. So it's not the USDA prime. So um, it was the cheapest we can find at Sam's Club. And here I have my butter, herb butter started, waiting for it to go to room temperature. And as you can see, we got this from Whole Foods, the organic beef medley, which has thyme, oregano, and rosemary. So we chopped it up and put it in the butter and we're going to mix it all up. As well as we added a lemon zest and orange zest. So hopefully it comes out good. And the method we're going to use to cook the prime rib this year is... We're gonna do the 500 degree method. So 500 degrees, five minutes per pound, um, and then, you know, turn it off and let it rest for two hours, slow cook for two hours in the residual heat. All right, so the prime rib is fully defrosted and I pat it down dry with paper towels. And here we're gonna season it overnight. Um, I'm following sort of everyone's videos, tips and advice, so, we're going to season it with salt and pepper and leave it unwrapped in the refrigerator overnight and then I'm going to put seasoned butter all over it before we cook it. So shall we get started? Alrighty, let's start with the salt. Kosher salt. I like to start from the bottom because then, you know, this is going down on the pan, so... Be generous with the salt because this is a pretty big prime rib. 6.49 ounces. Pounds. 6.49 pounds. I like to use the peppercorn medley, but I know I don't have enough, so I'm going to use coarse ground black pepper. So do we normally eat prime rib during Christmas? It really depends, um, you know, if there is prime rib. Usually I like prime rib for New Year's, but this year, you know, we're making it a little bit special. Or early, making it early. So why do we kosher salt in and pepper it and leave it overnight in the refrigerator? It's so that the moisture is all sucked in or, you know, it dehydrates even more to make it more dry so that we can get a nice crispier crust. And of course, guys, I'm not a professional cook. I'm just a home cook. So, you know, the, this is just a experiment. Do I normally cook prime rib? No. <laughs>
And while it was defrosting overnight, um, it sort of dried up already. So I think this is gonna be good, guys. In all my life, all my childhood, we didn't really have a an oven to use because our stove was we didn't use the oven really, so the oven didn't really work back in our old house. So we were always dependent on the toaster oven. So, but now that we have an actual oven and stove that's working, definitely gonna enjoy this. And normally for the side, I like to just scoop up any remaining bits on the board. Smells good guys, smells good. So the peppercorns was enough, guys. It's looking good. All right. Now that that's seasoned, I'm gonna put it back in the pan. Nice clean pan. And put it back in the refrigerator. Till tomorrow, Christmas Eve, where we're gonna cook this. Now, am I gonna cook it in the same pan? No, because it's too small for one, and two is too deep. So all the oil and the fat is gonna be covering half of the meat, which I don't want. I want it to have it nice and circulated, so I need a bigger pan in order to do that. All right, guys, till tomorrow. All right, oven's preheating to 500 degrees. And here's the prime rib. It looks sort of like dry aged, but it's not. It's just dehydrated. And then we're gonna add the herb butter on top. So guys, uh, the butter I made it to room temperature so that it's easy to smooth out. And you're probably asking what's inside this herb butter. So again, it is rosemary, thyme, and oregano and I put some chili flakes and Dijon mustard. And garlic, garlic, fresh garlic was in here too. Got to remember what I put it in because we made it the other day and just let it sit in the refrigerator until we were ready to put it on to this beautiful prime rib. Also forgot, uh, there was orange zest and lemon peel added to this. Guys, I'm using a spoon, but if it's easier to use your hands, definitely use your hands. I might start doing that, but I just didn't want to get my hands all oily. Alright guys, all smothered. So what the butter does is it makes it more juicy, right? Because of the fat. And sometimes people say this is might be too much, especially for prime rib. It might overpower um, the taste, the original taste of the beef. But it's Christmas. Might as well make it a little bit more luxurious. Alright. Alright guys, while the oven is preheating, I just wanted to let you know always um have your room temp have your beef at room temperature before putting it into the oven so that it cooks evenly or else once if you have a, a cold beef that you just took out of the refrigerator and put it into the oven it's just gonna it's not gonna cook as even basically because it's gonna still be cold and cold in the center 
All right, guys, the oven reached temperature of 500 degrees. Again, this is a six pound, 46 ounces prime rib. So we're gonna cook it five minutes per pound and round to the nearest minute. So it's gonna be about 32 minutes. Here we go. Guys, timer went off. So the 32, 33 minutes was up. So I'm gonna turn it, the oven off and leave the meat in there for two hours. While I'm doing that, I'm prepping other things, side dishes for tonight. Remember now, with the oven being off, do not open the oven because it's gonna slow cook for two hours. All right guys, while the prime rib is slow cooking, let's look at our sides. We're making shrimp cocktail here, blanching the shrimp. Mom bought cost, uh, mom went to Costco and bought uh, Devane shrimp. And then also we have our potatoes boiling to make a nice uh, potato uh, stir fry. All right, guys, it's been two hours. It's now one o'clock. Time to cut this prime rib. All right, guys, time to cut it. The ends are always gonna be the well done area. There we have it. Perfect, medium rare. I normally like to cut in one inch strips or one inch slices. This is my first time using 500 degree method, so it's a nice trick. Came out perfect. So this six pound can definitely feed us three people. Three, four, five, and six. Six people actually, so 